Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Mobile Gadgeteer and Smartphones and Cell Phones blogs. Today I have a chance to look at the Nokia 5800 Express Music Device, which is uh, the latest Nokia S60 Touch screen device. And um, I don't have, uh, didn't come in a box or anything, just came loose with a couple of accessories. Um, the, the cable the TV out cable and some things like that. So let's just take a look around the hardware itself. This is actually the red model and as you can see there's a red highlight stripe all the way around the device and kind of a uh, soft touch maroon burgundy kind of back. The blue one has a, the blue stripe. I'm not sure what the back of the blue one is. I believe it's black. Um, so this is the uh, the front of the device and has a 640 by 360 uh, resolution display and uh, we'll get into some of the uh, the touch part of the display. Let's just kind of walk around the device. The, mostly the Express Music devices, I've seen them on T-Mobile. I've never uh, used them or bought them before. They usually have the uh, the swivel bottom with the camera kind of focus. Usually uh, more of a, a high-end feature phone type device. I uh, thought we'd actually see touch first on the N-Series, but it makes more sense to me actually to have it on the Express Music that uh, is going to be selling probably... In the, right now it's the European version in the U.S. is 350, so we should, could he see it around 300 fairly low cost for a uh, unlocked um, device from Nokia with the S60 5th edition, the touchscreen. So let's just take a walk around it here. Um, got the microphone down here and as you uh, I have in pictures you can kind of see here there are little grills for the stereo speakers. I'll play those in a little bit. There's two doors that are, are quite flush. Um, one is for the micro SD card and the other one is for the SIM card and I'll show you a little bit about the SIM card when I uh, pop off the battery. So there's covers on that one side with the stereo speakers uh, around the top. Nice to see we've got uh, three and a half millimeter headset jack which is Nokia has been wonderful at uh, using on lots of their latest devices. Still use the standard Nokia small adapter there um, and then underneath here you can see there's the now standard micro USB for uh, connecting and syncing and a power button as well. Swinging around to the right side, we can see there is a uh, toggle for the volume. There's a lock button, which is extremely handy, and the camera button over there. And then on the back, we've got the uh, 3.2 megapixel camera with a dual LED. Uh, there is no cover on the camera. And down at the bottom, we have, it's quite unusual, is a stylus. As you can see here, it's kind of a uh, strange triangular shape. Uh, it feels pretty good. It's all plastic, uh, nothing spectacular. Uh, let's see, real quick, I'll let me just pop off the back and show you that the stylus is actually in the back cover right there. And then it shows you how to use the stylus and the SIM card because with, uh, pull the battery off here, which is a BL5J1320 uh, milliampere battery. What you can see right here is that the SIM card, you actually have to use the stylus and open up the door and use the stylus to slide the SIM card out of the device. And let's just pop the battery back in. Kind of strange, the battery actually goes kind of uh, upside down so the words are facing away from you. And pop the back cover on there. Now, let me just start it up. Um, the device. Uh, as I think I said, the device is a 3.2 inch, uh, 640 by 360 resolution display. Um, it has haptics as well, so when you uh, when you touch the uh, the display, you can feel a little uh, feedback coming. And um, three buttons on the bottom: send, end, and then a menu key in the center. Uh, this is uh, it comes with the three different types of uh, themes for the home screen. One, this one I actually kind of like because if I was to tap on, uh, you can have up to four people on, uh, this is the contacts bar. I think you only have up to four, I don't think you can add any more. And then what you do is if you tap that person, you'll be able to uh, call them right away, send a text message, or see their web feeds, fees, feeds, and it keeps track of a bunch of that uh, things once you, once you have somebody. This is my family, they don't really have web feeds, so there's not going to be that information there, but... Uh, It'd be handy for your for your family and friends that do have that. You can kind of see what uh, what their status is. And um, here's a dialer, so it's a touchscreen dialer right there, and contacts as well. Let me just go into the uh, 
I've actually customized this a little bit. Um, as you can see, I'm trying to style tap and some other um, applications. I've customized the menus, which I love about S60. You can pretty much do what you want. Let's just go into here and uh, customize home screen a little bit. Go back to the uh, default. Go back to the shortcuts bar. One thing that you will find that's not uh, consistent to myself, this is still a first look, is that um, sometimes you tap once to select, sometimes you have to tap twice. Uh, pretty much if it's in a list, you have to tap twice for the most part. So you will get used to it. I've only been a couple days of me using it, um, but I am getting used to it more and more. It does have uh, auto rotation if you turn that on, I think. There we go. That was a little slow response, as you can see. The screen is a very crisp and clear. The fonts are nice and crisp. Uh, I do like that. Um, as this traditional web browser, I put Opera on there. Communications, of course, Gmail icon looks horrible. I have Mail for Exchange on there. It does have GPS, uh, Nokia Maps. I had a Google Maps as well, which looks fantastic on such a large screen, as you can imagine. It's a new Bolt browser I'm trying out. Media is pretty dang good on this device. Uh, it doesn't have an FM transmitter. Um, I haven't seen Nokia Internet Radio, which may be in the download section. It does work with Mobler or Mobler for uh, Last FM streaming. Uh, there's the podcasting application, Music Store, which isn't applicable to me in the U.S. And uh, just take a quick look through some of the things. It does have a couple games. Then I loaded some other ones from uh, Nokia Hong Kong site. And I've also loaded up, and was told uh, by Ricky K Cadden at Simigro to try out uh, Handy Shell, which I'm trying out on the device now. Um, let's see, I will go to, oh, I almost forgot. So we go back to uh, the home screen here. It also has the Express Music button. If you push this button up here, you can see there's music, video, I'm not quite sure what that is, and uh, music, pictures, video, um, internet and let's just tap it and see what this icon stands for share online okay that's the share online icon I'll have to go back and mess around with that some more so let's just uh, go to music here let's see got a few of uh, a few of my albums on here that I use for testing just so As you can see, that's pretty low. I'm going to go ahead and crank it up. Uh, you won't hear me talking, but let's just crank it up and see what we got. Well, the new ACDC there. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at a movie. I did put uh, one movie on here. Um, Die Another Day, kind of my test movie. Now, why is that not working? My videos, I'm pretty sure I put it on here. Okay, there it is. This wasn't showing up on the card. Jumps into portrait mode, actually has a nice widescreen uh, format on the device. Video plays fluidly and looks uh, looks pretty well on this uh, nice size display. It's great to see. And uh, this version, you know, I'm using it with T-Mobile on Edge because it doesn't have the uh, 3G, but the battery life it's been lasting me a couple days, no problem at all. I'm actually really happy with it. I'm close to pulling the trigger on buying myself a blue one. I'm pretty dang happy with it. I mean, it gives me a touch screen. Oh, that's what I wanted to show you. Let me just show you uh, the keyboard options and the text entry options. So if I'm in a field, uh, let's go down to a text message here. So there's different uh, different options for text entry. And if I tap on the keyboard here, it shows you what options you have. You have handwriting. And you can actually train the handwriting. I've read a little bit about this. It's pretty good. Personally, I never even use it on my powerful Windows mobile handwriting devices, so I may not use it. Uh, there's a mini QWERTY keyboard, a full screen QWERTY, and an alphanumeric, uh, you know, like a keypad. So uh, I'll just show you. This is the mini 
QWERTY it is, you can see, and then you can go between uh, numbers, other uh, symbols there, other hyphens and stuff like that. So let's go to the full screen. When you tap full screen, it only pops into landscape, but it does that in every application. And uh, as you enter, as you, as you tap on it, you see it can, each key is, uh, as you may be able to see, is highlighted, and it actually gives you haptic feedback. So it actually works out pretty well. Um, I've been fairly happy with the key, with this uh, full screen keyboard. Okay, let's uh, see what is it. Let's go to handwriting just to kind of show it to you. So you just uh, wherever this box is at, and I believe this box, from what I understand, but I haven't, like I said, I haven't used it very much. I think you can pull the box anywhere you want to. Um, yeah, there we go. Put the box anywhere you want to to write text. And of course, you can go through the uh, the training to make it even more accurate. And then, of course, there's alphanumeric, portrait or landscape, which gives you uh, if you're used to the standard keypad. So that's the text entry options, and it's a first look at the Nokia 5800. As I spend more time with this device, and maybe my own blue device that I might buy soon, um, I'll give you a further look at it. All right, thanks for watching.